In this project, we have worked on an attention-driven hybrid network for survival analysis of tumorigenesis patients using host light images in MacWiz lab. According to the World Health Organization, cancer is the second leading cause of death globally, accounting for an estimated 10 million deaths or one in a six deaths in 2020. Cancer is a large group of disease that can start in almost any organ or tissue of the body. According to oncologists, Prognostic information that are provided at a time of cancer diagnosis has significant implications for patients' treatment and monitoring. Prognosis is a medical term for predicting expected development of a disease. Doctor uses survival analysis to estimate the patient's prognosis. It analyzes the expected duration of the time until an event of interest occurs. The event of interest in the cancer patients may be recurrence, metastasis, or death. Any feature of the cancer or characteristic of the patient that may affect the patient's outcome or survival time is called cancer biomarkers. For example, hormone receptors, biochemical markers, protein biomarkers, genetic mutations, age, gender, and ethnicity. But host light images are considered as gold standard for histopathological biomarkers. Host light imaging involves a number of steps to digitally scan a tissue slide containing thin section of tissue specimen for microscopic examination and storing it as digital images. Pathologists then use specialized software to examine these digital slides, analyzing different areas of tissue samples. Here comes the role of computational pathology that aims to enhance patient care by utilizing advances in artificial intelligence and data generated from digital and clinical pathology. Whole slide images have brought a significant transformation in the field of cancer diagnosis and prognosis. However, some of the traits of whole slide images such as gigapixel size, diverse tissue appearance and no certainty about tissue regions associated with patient survival make the task of survival prediction challenging. Two types of methods are available in the literature to predict the survival of cancer patients. Initial methods available for predicting the patient's survival involve convolution neural networks that operate on selected region of interest manually annotated by pathologists. These methods leverage intermediate computer vision tasks such as classification, segmentation, etc. for extracting survival informative features, but annotation is a resource-intensive and labor-sensitive task. To eliminate the need of region of interest annotations, recent research has embraced multi-stage strategies that extract the direct insights from host light images without relying on any annotations. Despite the considerable progress, the available methods face quite a few challenges. These methods rely on CNN pre-trained on ImageNet for feature extraction. However, discrepancies exist in data distribution and domain-specific information between national and medical images. In the MacWiz lab, we have worked on a simple yet effective model that directly extracts survival-related features without intermediate computer vision tasks. In this model, we have first applied a set of mathematical, morphological, and thresholding functions to extract the tissue region from WSIs while dropping the white background. We then tiled this tissue region into 224 by 224 image patches at 20x magnification. We have trained a self-supervised learning model for feature extraction. This model allows us to efficiently process and learn from data, enabling us to capture complicated special relationships and contextual information within image patches. Our proposed model exploits the capabilities of Transformer to give attention to those features that are most related to patient survival. The face addiction process is carefully designed to encompass a diverse set of information from the patient's data set ensuring a comprehensive representation of the input data within our transformer model. The proposed model outperforms state-of-the-art models by using fewer resources. This research will help the researchers in the persuasion of accurate survivor prediction, improved patient care paradigm, and data-driven decision-making. This research was made possible through the support and guidance of many individuals and especially my supervisor, Dr. Moazam Faraz.